Okay, I've taken this path that I think is going to lead to the top of the waterfall. And we'll see. We are at Kessler Park near downtown Kansas City, and I'm making my way to Kessler Waterfall on Cliff Drive. Now, this is a four-mile road that skirts the Rocky Bluffs that rise about 250 feet above the Missouri River, and it was opened in 1905, and it's now closed to motorized vehicles. And there is the dried-up Kessler Waterfall, and I'm not shocked that there's no water because we're having an incredibly dry summer but I'm also not disappointed because there are other things here to see at this park. Yeah, look. <laughs> see if you get off the beaten path. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Look at this view. That's magnificent. And that is a view of the East Bottoms and the Missouri River. And although you can't see the river because of all the trees, I swear, it's down there. This is a man-made waterfall, and it did replace a small fountain that was down on Cliff Drive. This was originally named Carl DeCapo Fountain, and he was a very influential restaurateur here in Kansas City, and he owned the famous DeCapo restaurant. Wow, look at this view. All right, behind me is what is called the colonnade. And then if we switch over here, that is the concourse and that is a fountain. Now this colonnade, it was built in 1908. That is the same year as the terrace was at West Terrace Park. And if you remember, that's the one we went down and explored the staircase. They were built in the same year, but I think I like this one better. It is so much more ornate. So let's go check it out. The colonnade was built in 1908 at a cost of nearly $27,000. In the center is a memorial to John F. Kennedy, and that was placed there in 1965, and it did replace a fountain. The colonnade sits on a half-acre plot on Prospect Point, and interestingly enough, this used to house a pest house and a burial ground for contagious diseases until about 1885 when it became city property. Gosh, I certainly hope they moved the bodies. It's designed in the bow art style with reinforced concrete faced with smooth limestone and a red clay tile roofing with portions of open trellis. And it was designed by Henry Wright, who worked in George Kessler's office in St. Louis. George Kessler was a landscape architect who designed many of our parks here in Kansas City, including the park that we're in now, Kessler Park, and it's also known as North Terrace Park. And there is a staircase and we will definitely go down. When I come to places like this, I try to envision what it was like when it was first built. I can imagine elegant ladies strolling down this colonnade with their long flowy skirts, umbrellas, and neatly placed hats. I can imagine children playing on the grass and possibly a picnic or two. This is really a magical place. And we've already visited another one of Kessler's parks, West Terrace Park, and that is where we explored the crumbling terrace staircase, and apparently this structure is also starting to crumble. Historic Kansas City has recently listed the colonnade on the most endangered structures list here in Kansas City. This place looks pretty sound to me, but it does have some structural issues. There are roof issues and the tiles need some attention. And I will leave a link in the description to a document listing endangered buildings here in Kansas City. But now we're off to find another interesting site here in the park. Okay, this is supposed to be Missouri's largest tree. It's 120 feet tall and it has a crown spread of 120 feet. It's a Eastern cottonwood and the trunk is nine feet across and 29 feet around. Let's go look at it. Um, yeah, and it's only 70 years old. Wow. Woo, it's windy, but it's nice wind because it's really, really hot today and uh, that wind is helping things out quite a bit. Uh, what a beautiful tree. It looks a lot older than 70 years old, but it's only 70 years old. So I'm going to go stand up here and uh, at the base so we can get a good idea about how big this tree is. 
I wasn't going to come down on this lookout, but Greg here, this is Greg's. Hi, Greg. Hello. He said there's stairs, so I'm going to go check these stairs out. Okay, the stairs to where? No, it does go down to a little lookout. Whew. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, well. One thing I can say about Missouri is that they have beautiful scenery, beautiful rolling hills. Everything is just spectacular. I hear a train. There's probably another little area down there. But that leads down to, that's Cliff Drive. That's that drive that they have blocked off for pedestrians and uh, bicycles now. And where we saw the waterfall. Cool, cool. Well, thank you for sticking around until the end. I know it was another long one, but sometimes we go places and there's lots to see. And you know what, this is pretty cool park. I had no idea that Kansas City had such amazing parks. So I think there will be other parks in our future. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.